Yeah, your kids aren't listening to the show as they do it, are they? No, my kids and John's kids are in the green room, and they're watching Mission Impossible 3 and playing with games. Oh, good. All the guys, uh, you know. No, they're not, Gary. I saw them right behind. Ah. <laughs> Meanwhile, the kid came right up behind Gary. Hey, you got any porn? The kids are here for Take Your Kid to Work Day. Sal's, Sal's kids, yeah. John Hines' kids, and Gary's kids, and... Oh. They're going to play a game later. How sounds. well do you know your dad for prizes? Well, if they come to dad's work and they can't really watch him work. Stupid. Yeah. I used to bring the kids here and I'd make them leave the room. <laughs> you had, I think you had your youngest. Was that Sal's kid, Gary? Yeah. That was, yeah. It's one of Sal's gay kids. Oh, stop it. Yeah, he can hear, Artie. Oh, I'm sorry. Gay like no, happy. Do you know what? Sal just, I had the button down. Sal just goes, you effing idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Sal, don't, talk, don't curse. Like, I mean, don't I mean, curse in front of your kids. I know. I re you react weird. In front of I'm sorry. It was a defense mechanism. <laughs> see that big window? Oh, no. You can't see him from here. Yeah. That was the fat guy. You call Santa Claus from Elf? There he is. <laughs> so yeah, you, know what, you know what, Sal? Gay can mean happy. What you said has one meaning. <laughs> hey, uh, what's your kid's name, Sal? Antonio. Hey, Antonio. Antonio! Hey, hold on, talk the microphone over there. Hi, Anto Hi, Alex. How you doing? <laughs> Good. You going to play the game later? See how well you know your dad? Yep. All right, we'll get some prizes for you. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> yeah. How old are you? Seven. Yeah. Sal, a good dad? Yes. The best? Yes. Uh, you sure you don't want somebody else for a dad? Howard, Howard, what other, da what other dad would get, dress you up in kiss makeup with him every uh, year for Halloween? Does he do that? Your dad dresses you up in kiss makeup? Um, sometimes. Yeah, you like that, huh? Yeah. Are you you like his? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. What's okay. your favorite song? Um, Rock and Roll All Night. Wow, he really does know wow. his stuff, this kid. You seem like a nice kid. Oh, stop, oh, Sal. Sal. <laughs> He's going to turn out normal. <laughs> <laughs> say, uh, say, Dad, stop creeping everybody out. Yeah. Dad, stop creeping everybody out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Antonio. I'll see you in here later. Cute, cute kid. You, I want to see you beat those Delabate kids in the, in the game. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good kid. He doesn't seem to think that's going to be a problem at all. I actually feel a little sorry. Oh, Sal so just goes, say this, say that, say this, say that. The kid doesn't yeah. know where to look. Right. Dad's a, uh, Sal's a retarded stage father. <laughs> It'd be funny if Sal's kid drew like a mustache and goatee on himself, like so he could look like Sal. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. He's got are his other kids here. Yeah, now he's got yeah. No, he just uh, brought one. Uh, just Antonio. But he's going to play, we're going to play a game. How well do you know your dad? It's going to be Gary's kids versus Sal's kids versus John Hines' kids. You know. Yeah, John Hines' daughters are here. When you see a kid like that, it does make you, it makes you hate like predators on kids so much more because it, they trust a, a, adults so much. You know what I mean? Well, that's like, their first mistake. Like, the, but yeah, but they have such a trusting, loving, like, you know, what, what imagine are you trusting, so sweet and innocent. Imagine trusting Sal because, you know, <laughs> well, especially oh, their parents. When you're yeah. a kid, you, you know, psychologically, you always think your parents are the best, Absolutely. you know, when you're a little kid because how else would you think? I mean, you come from them, so they're they are they godlike the to you. Right. Yeah. But imagine, like, Sal's giving you your guidance. Sal is God. You think I should tell the kid to pull him aside and just go, listen, whatever Sal tells you, ignore? <laughs> I got a feeling at home Sal's a, a good father, a better father than we think. I hope. No, I have a feeling at <laughs> how, home. How is that possible? Wait a minute. No. I mean, you know. You're missing the point. At home, Christine tells the kids just what you just said. You're oh. so right, Robin. <laughs> You're right, I guess. <laughs> ignore Sal. I'd like to do an extensive interview with that kid. I had a baseball coach in Babe Ruth League when I was 13. There's two coaches. They did the exact same thing. One guy would tell you what to do, and the other guy thought the guy was dumb. <laughs> so the guy would give you instructions, and the other guy would pull aside and go, listen, whatever he says, don't listen to right. him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what, what is that? What are we, so now what now are we doing? what do we do? <laughs> Oh, ah. it's oh. Sal's kid. Oh. He's got the Baba Booey lips on. I'm going to go get Lucas to smack the hell out of him. He's having fun. Sal's kid's wearing the big giant Baba Booey lips. Hey, Antonio, good good job. <laughs> Take him. You know what? I have to hire you after you fall. You know, see, at least he's getting to do some of the work his dad does. Right. <laughs> you know what? I do want to teach the kid how to throw a ball, though. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think it's going to get his ass Lucas kicked. is out there. Oh, is that Lucas? Yeah. All right, just stop it with the kids. <laughs> just let them go watch TV. It's two maniacs. I'll have the kids So sleep. we have the kids here today to watch a movie. Lucas looks like a Californian. He looks like Tanner in the Bad News Bear. He looks like the mother. <laughs> right. Thank God. <laughs> Hey, it's Gary Galbate. It's Take Your Kid to Work Day. This is my older son, Jackson, and this is my other son, Lucas. Hey, guys, how you doing? Uh, we're playing a game today called Daddy or Dummy. Uh, oh, very much like the newlywed game. Find out what uh, we know about our kids, what our kids know about us. How do you think we're going to do, Lucas? Great. Um, you think you know the answers to the questions? All of them. But you don't know the questions yet? Yeah. How about you, Jackson? How are you going to do? I think I'm going to do pretty good, because I'm just an older and older one. Jackson seems to know a lot about me, too, but uh, I think they're both going to be really funny today. You ready for this? Yeah. All right, let's do it. One, two, three, go. Go. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Hine, here with my daughter, Rachel, and my daughter, Emily, and we're going to play Daddy or Dummy. Hopefully, we'll prove that I'm a daddy and not a dummy. How do you guys think we're going to do today? We're going to win. You think we're going to win? We're going to win. Now, you guys have to know a lot about me and what I do. Me too. Okay, Rach. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think I know a lot about you guys, right? Now, we're, pl we're playing against Gary's sons and against Sal's son. So, who do you think is going to be the toughest competition? Um, Gary's son or Sal's probably son? Probably Gal's. Gal's. I said um, Gary's son. Why do you think Gary's sons will be tough? Because they're old. That's true. Antonio is a little bit younger. Do you have any surprises planned when you guys go in there? No, no, not really. No? Are you looking forward to meeting Howard? Yes. What about Robin and Artie and Benji and all those, and Fred? Yeah. yeah. I already met them. Well, you did meet them, but you never met them on the show, right? Yeah, I right. never did. All right, so, all right, let's, what do you have to say about Dad going into this? Good luck. Thank you. Good luck, Hein family. We'll see how we do. Hey, it's Sal, and I'm here with my son, Antonio, and today we're going to play Daddy or a Dummy. Uh, you're pretty excited, Antonio? Yes. So Antonio's going to answer some questions about me, and I'm going to have to try to get them right. And hopefully we're going to beat the Hein and Delabate family. Right, Antonio? Yes. Because the Hein and Delabate family, they ain't diddly, right? Look at the camera. Right. So you're going down, Hein. You're going down, Hein. You're going down, Delabate. You're going down, Delabate. Down to the ground. Down to the ground. You dirty monkey. You dirty monkey. We're beating the nerd and the monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Say, we're beating those the nerd and the monkey. We're beating the nerd and the monkey. Say, jump the shark. Go this, go jump the shark. Jump this. Jump the shark. Jump this. Hey, kids. Look, Daddy, it's you. <laughs> hey, kids, I bet I can make you laugh. You want me to make you laugh? All right. All right. Okay. Go ahead here. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are too adult for this. <laughs> yeah, look at them. They're all laughing. Uh, Lucas all right. is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, you're gone, right, man? You like it. Yeah, you like that. John Hines' daughters don't like it that much. It's a boy thing. That's a boy thing. You guys, you guys should know your, your sense of humor is never going to get more sophisticated That's than it. that. This is the top. You know, I'm trying to get him to stop doing that at the kitchen table, which right. he does. Antonio, Antonio, you didn't like it so much, Salson. You don't like that kind of fart noise, right? No, I liked it. You liked it? Okay. Yeah. Lucas, you liked it the most, right? Yeah. yeah. Girls, you don't like that when the gas... Not really. It's not ladylike. Okay. All right. That's fair enough. You're nice young ladies, and I can appreciate that. Let me see who we have here. I'll start over with John Hine. John Hine is the host of the wrap-up show. Everyone knows that. He has two beautiful daughters. They're here for Take Your uh, Kid to Work Day. It used to be Take Your Daughter to Work. Now it's just Take Your Kid take to Work. Take Your Child. Yeah, the, the guys right. got tired of being left behind, I think. We have Rachel over there. You're 12 years old, right? Mm -hmm. Good for you. Congratulations. And on you still can't call. vote for American Idol, huh? Nope. Yeah, your dad won't let you. Put your mic up, John. What is that, John? Last night they laid it on pretty thick because of the charity and everything, and I still wouldn't let him vote. More reason not to vote. <laughs> I know. I admire your dad for that. Uh, I think uh, all that nonsense with phone calls to these shows is very bad. Uh, you don't understand that now, but... And you won't understand it later. Don't worry about it. Right. All right. Rachel's 12 years old. You're in the sixth grade. Emily is nine years old, and you're in the fourth grade. Mm -hmm. How are you, Emily? Good. Nice to see you. Today, we're going to find out how well your dads and you know each other. 
You think you know your dad pretty well? Yeah. yeah. All right. Your dad a good guy or is he uh, kind of silly? He's a good guy and he's silly too. Yeah. He is silly too. Is he too strict? No. No, he's good? Sometimes. <laughs> well, don't ask, too, don't ask too many questions because <laughs> All right, you might conflict like with the game. Playing the game. Okay. Let's see. The Hind girls. Uh, Emily, you take dance lessons. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Mm -hmm. All right. You want to be a dancer? Yeah. Yeah. Ballet? No. Yeah, well, you can't make money in dance, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, you don't know. But Paul Abdul has done pretty well. Well, uh, I would stop that dream immediately. <laughs> uh, Rachel and Emily were opposed to the Sanjaya movement. You must have been happy when Sanjaya got voted off. Mm -hmm. Very happy. Yes. And, uh, Do they go to the American Idol concert? Well, we went one time for, I think it was season three. Uh -huh. It was season four. Or season four, but that's it. That's okay. it. And who did you see? Who was your favorite on stage? Um, I don't know. Carrie uh, well, Underwood. Carrie Underwood, yes. I want to uh, thank both of you for sending me an engagement card. Oh. It was very nice. They actually wrote up an engagement card. Oh, nice. And I like homemade cards, which was yours, and uh, I appreciate that very much. I know that took a lot of work. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, girls. And uh, let's uh, go to Jackson and Lucas Delabate, the Delabate boys. Jackson, you're uh, 12 years old. You're in the seventh grade, right? Yep. Uh huh. And Lucas, you're nine years old, and you're in the third grade. I'm coming to your yep. house this weekend for a special dinner. You are? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I would expect that uh, we'll be playing things together, video games, etc. <laughs> yeah, because probably. I'm going to be bored with those adults. <laughs> You're going to hang out with the kids. Sitting and listening to your father drone on, I'd much rather play with you kids. You're not interested in Gary stories? No. <laughs> He's heard them all. Uh, Jackson and Lucas, uh, how's your new house? Oh, I love it's it. great. I love it. You love it. You got your own rooms. Mm -hmm. You guys are athletes. You, you, the rooms are decorated with uh, different athletic games and things like that. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. You got to do your own rooms? Yep. Yeah. Wonderful. And I understand you recently went to the Allman Brothers concert. Oh, yeah, I did. And you like that. Yeah, yeah I love that. And, uh, Jackson, I can imagine all the girls in school must like you because you are an athlete. You're on the football team. <laughs> they, the girls love that stuff, don't they? Uh, yeah, I guess. Right. Are you popular? Uh, yeah, I guess. No. <laughs> no. Lucas, he's not? He is not popular? Yeah, that's right. He's not popular. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's my turn to trash you. Do you, do you boys uh, beat each other up and stuff like that? Are you very physical with one another? Not really. No. Are you close? To trouble. You're close friends? They're not supposed to hit each other, but they often do. You do. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's just say that uh, you boys, uh, we'll see how much you know your father in this game. We'll see if you can beat the hind girls. Now, Antonio, you're on your own today. Yeah. You're all by yourself. You're there with your dad, Sal, Governor Alley. <laughs> You're seven years old, and you're in second grade. Right. Well, you seem very mature. You seem very grown up. He's more mature than Sam. <laughs> yeah, you seem much more together than your own father, honestly. Did you see that your dad broke his hand? Yeah. Do you know how he did that? Um, Because he fell off the stage. Right. He was so busy trying to make the people laugh that he didn't look where he was going and went flying off the stage. <laughs> By the way, uh, that's pretty silly, isn't it? Yes, I'm so is. busy trying to feed you. <laughs> uh, what is it, Gary? I was going to say, hours of entertainment in my house. The kids love watching that video over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> they loved it. You guys love when Sal falls off the stage? Yeah. yeah. Actually, <laughs> somebody put it on YouTube, and I watch it all day long. I'm like, ah. Uh. Great. <laughs> it's on a loop. Well, yes. <laughs> Well, uh, okay, Antonio, you're a drummer, is that correct? Yes. You bowl. Yes. What is your average uh, bowling-wise? You um, high-scoring games? I like to high-score. You do like to high-score. <laughs> Good. So does your dad. He likes to score. <laughs> uh, and you want to be a comedian just like your dad? You want to tell jokes? Yes. Do you have a joke for us today? Um, well, I'm working on them. Okay, you don't have any material you're for us You're writing your own stuff? Oh, good for you. You want to give him one? Do, give him the chicken one. What chicken one? Why did chicken oh, cross the pressure. <laughs> I'll have that one. Okay, we can oh, wait. No problem. <laughs> oh, look at Sal being a good dad. Not berating or yelling. Well, no. kids, it's time for your dads to leave the room. I'm going to ask you, all of you, five questions about your dads. These are worth points, and there's money involved. So, I mean, you can win prizes for knowing... Stuff about your what dad. What your dad is going to say. He's got to answer the question. In fact, too, thanks right? to yes. In fact, thanks to my co my, my cousin, um, we've got some money for this game. So you kids can walk out with cash, cold hard cash. And I'm going to make your dad's promise that you can spend it on whatever you want, and they don't control it. 
What do you think I of that? I know that Lucas and Jackson love cash. Oh, yes, they do. <laughs> Aunt Robin loves to give cash. Thanks, Robin. But thank you. Kids, cash is king. Remember that. <laughs> sure is. That's what makes the world go around. You girls over there, you marry a rich man, right? Oh. Has your dad told has you that? The, has your dad told you that yet? Has your dad instructed you never to marry for love but for wealth? Not yet. <laughs> what kind of father are you? Not yet. All right. Well, we're going to find out everything. And uh, we have a bunch of cash here. Thanks to b All right. All right. Look, kids, dads, leave the room. Leave me with your children. Good luck, kids. All right. Kids, good luck. We'll see what happens. John Hine kissing his kids. All right. I'm going to start out easy. Wait till the dads leave. Yeah, like, All right, kids. Make this sure is for... they don't hear the questions. All right, now we can really talk. <laughs> now that they're out of the room. Be All as right. honest as you can. All right, kids. Here we go. Now, I'll ask you some questions. Be as honest as you can. That's how you win the money. Now, and... where there are brothers and sisters, can they work as a team? Sure. Who cares? Right. Doesn't make a difference. Poor Antonio. <laughs> yeah. Antonio's fine on his own. He seems to have a, the gift of gab. All right. The first question is worth five points. Now, you got to think about what your dad would say. And I'm going to start out easy, okay? Some of these are more difficult. This is an easy one. Uh, Hind Girls, what is your dad's favorite TV show? You don't even have to whisper. You can just tell us. Don't keep touching those mics. What? Would it be 30 Rock or Scrubs? I don't know. Um, it's probably Scrubs, 30 Rock, The Office. The whole comedy night done right thing. Is what he likes, huh? Is that what he's going to say if we ask him what his favorite we gotta, show we is? we got to pick one show, though. Pick one, girls. We're getting a headache. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Artie has a headache. The Office, probably. The Office. The Office. Okay. okay. I'm going to go over to the Delabate boys, Jackson and Lucas, Gary's uh, children, and uh, ask you, what is your dad's favorite TV show? Uh, well, I know you used to like The West Wing. Uh, um, maybe Get Smart. No, 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 it's not. Uh, I would say he used to like the West Wing, and he likes ER, and... Well, you got to pick gotta one, pick though, one. Jack. West Wing is not on anymore. Yeah, so. I would say ER, then. ER, okay, we'll go with that. Antonio, you got an answer? Um, American Idol. American, American Idol. Idol is your dad's favorite show? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? He watches it a lot. Wow, I didn't know that. Right, now that's Sal just <laughs> jumped the shark. <laughs> All right, that's very good. I like to hear that. Okay, the next question... And kids, think carefully. you got to come up with the right answer. This is for cash. And what did I teach you at the beginning of this show? What did I say, kids? Repeat after me. Cash is what? Cold. No. no. King. King. <laughs> Everybody at once. Ready? One, two, three. Cash, cash is, is king. king. <laughs> Good. Now you're learning something. These kids better get out of here before they, <laughs> <laughs> they're ruined for life. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go to uh, the uh, Delabate boys first. All right. Okay. What is your dad's grossest habit? Oh. Uh, All right. Farting. <laughs> All right. You want to say it then? I'm not what sure. What would your dad answer? You got to think now. Uh, okay. All right. What do you guys say? What is your dad's grossest habit? Go ahead. Um, well, kind of farting from upstairs. I'm in the kitchen. He's upstairs in his own bathroom, and he farts, and then I hear it downstairs while I'm eating. Wow! <laughs> and do you, does it make you so ill that you can't, uh, you can't even eat? I almost threw up. It's that, it, why? Is it smell? You could smell it from downstairs? Yeah. It's wow. pretty loud if you can hear it downstairs in the kitchen. Do you have a worry that when you're an adult man that you'll have stinky, smelly gas like that, too? Yeah, well, actually, I ate Indian food, and I kind of vibrated the seats of the car. Right. So your dad farts upstairs in the bathroom. And yeah. can be heard all over the house, yeah. apparently. That's disgusting. Sadly. I'm sorry for you, kids. You need Antonio, a bigger house. Antonio, what about, what about your dad? What do you think is his grossest habit? Farting. Him, too? Same answer? Yeah. All right, okay. Is he loud? Loud and smelly. Loud and smelly. All right, I'm going to go to the Hind girls. They seem to have an answer right away. Go ahead, Hind girls. Um, he picks my nose in public. He picks your nose in public. I, I don't wow. understand. Why would he do I that? I think it bothers him that if she has, like, burgers or something, it bothers him. I don't her. even have them. And he, keeps, he jams his finger up your nose? Yeah, oh. pretty much. Oh. Terrible. <laughs> Does he eat it? No. 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 Thank no. God he doesn't. He what puts he it do? on his finger and shows it to me. Oh. oh, he shows you the booger. That is 
gross. That is gross. I'm sorry for you, gross. <laughs> I'll contact child services to see if I can't get you out of that house. All right. That's a joke, by the way. All right. Now, this next question is worth 10 points for the kids. Ooh, point level going up. All right. Now, Antonio, I'm going to go to you first. You're, of course, Sal, De uh, Sal uh, Governale's son, which is a great thing to be, as you know. <laughs> right? You laugh when I say that. Yes. It's carrying not on that the great. Governale name. You will, be, you will must have children so you can carry on the great Governale name. You realize that? <laughs> yes. All right. It's up to you. Have you picked out a girl yet that you would like to have children with? Um. Not yet. Not yet. All right, but you're looking. You're on the look. Okay. What is the last thing your parents fought about? Um. Well, about going to going on a vacation to Florida. Well, what was the fight? Um. Um, because my mom didn't really feel like it, and my dad wanted to um do it, and. Me and Aaron wanted to do it, and then we, like, started fighting. Right, it was a big fight, huh? Was there a lot of yelling and screaming? Um, not yelling and screaming. We were just, like, getting angry. Getting angry. But your mom <laughs> gave in. Yes. You won that one. You won it. All right. Let's go over to the Hind Girls. What's the last thing your parents fought about? Well, when we went to Universal, after we went to Disney, my my dad and Emily went to go get a Nathan's hot dog, and me and my mom were saving a table for them, and we kept calling them and calling them, and they wouldn't answer their phone because we couldn't go get food because we were saving the table. Yes, and except my dad phone. doesn't answer his phone, right. even though he claims he does, he still doesn't. <laughs> he so, says it's on And then loud. we thought about wow. how... Um, so in other words, you were saving a table <laughs> while the other two were busy eating. And they didn't uh, get you any food? No, we we were going to get food while they got it, except we found, like, the one table in the whole park because it's pretty packed. Yes. And we couldn't leave the table because then somebody would take it. So we had to wait till they came back to get the food, and they were taking a really long time, and we didn't know what happened. So when we called them, they didn't answer. So and you had to wait forever. You had yeah. to wait forever. Okay. Now, Delabate boys. <laughs> What's the last thing your parents thought thought about? Uh, the last thing my parents thought about was probably having to pick up Murphy's poop outside. Uh, yeah, he's totally right. Right. Uh, yeah, because my mom always says she does it, and my Why dad. Why can't you is poop inside. in the woods? Right. Now, was Murphy your other brother? No. no. He's, a, he's a dog. Oh, okay. Murphy's a friend of theirs. <laughs> the child they don't talk about. All right, now I'm going to move over to the hind girls. Here is another 10-pointer, okay? Here we go. What is the most annoying thing about your dad? It's a tough one. There's a lot of them, huh? The most. John Hine, and host of the wrap-up show. His kids are here for Take Your Daughter to Work. What is one sugar and so Um. Well, uh. there's two things. One <laughs> is um when he doesn't let us vote on American Idol. Right. Especially this week because it was for charity and we were donating to everybody. But you want us to help the us. poor little people in Africa. Oh. <laughs> and the other one is... <laughs> Um, was, there was this one time a couple of years ago his blood sticker got low and then he started going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, how does he go crazy when his blood sugar is low? Oh, he can't handle his what? disease? <laughs> he threw a hanger one time. He threw a hanger at you kids? No, not at us, just like to the floor. Oh, that's not so bad. One time my blood sugar was low, I started dressing like a woman. <laughs> that's true. Let's hope your blood sugar right. never drops again. That's right. All right, so the most annoying thing about your dad, is it American uh, Idol not being able to call, or is it when his blood sugar gets low? The most. The most yeah. annoying. The phone. Oh, yeah, the calling. Probably. The calling thing on American, American Idol. Idol. Okay. All right. So not that he's diabetic. <laughs> I think the most annoying thing about him is he's diabetic. <laughs> Let's go to the uh, Delabate boys. What is the most annoying thing about your dad, Gary Delabate, producer? Uh, let's see, that's a hard one. Uh, uh, what would you say? Like, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Is it the way he makes you spell your name? No. <laughs> hey. D E L apostrophe capital A. That's right. D E L L apostrophe 
A. Capital A. <laughs> is it annoying having an apostrophe in the middle of your name? No, oh, I got to get you. I had to get used to it. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. to do, right? Like a, oh, actually, the most annoying thing to me, I'm not sure about Jackson, but when it's like 40 degrees out or something, or like 35, he makes me put on like this huge, like he makes me put on like the Missile Man jacket, <laughs> and like I'm like fighting over. It. I'm like I will not like stand to wear this. Right. So, you're, so the most annoying thing about your dad is he makes you wear a heavy jacket in the winter. Yeah. All right. A big right. That's, ugly jacket. That's good. I would Antonio, have been this sitting is a, through a 30-minute bongo jam at the Almonds concert. <laughs> Antonio, yeah, you, you probably like hated going. You really like the Almond Brothers? Yeah. yeah. Was it okay? Yeah. All right. I saw him there. He was digging mm. it. <laughs> all right, Antonio. Hey, Antonio. What does your dad tell you, by the way? This isn't a question for the uh, for the game, but but what does your dad tell you he does for a living? Like, how does he describe his job? Um, by where. Working for you. Yeah, and what does he do when he works for me? Do you have any idea? Um, he um does jokes. Yeah, phony phone calls, that kind of thing. Yeah. Do you want to get into the phony phone call business? <laughs> yeah. Does yeah. he let you practice at home? Um, well, I he doesn't ask me really. Uh, yeah. yeah. Antonio, has your father ever mentioned Howard's religion? Um. Not to me. Okay, good. Uh, okay. <laughs> has he ever what are you said any? For? Do you ever hear him talking about me? Um, yesterday he was. What did he say? Um, that Howard's the second greatest. The second, the second greatest? second greatest? Who's the first? Oh, but, no, I'm the gr first greatest, you're oh. the second. Oh, so okay. you come first and then me? Yes. I'll okay. fire him for that. Wow. Just kidding. All right, um, <laughs> Delabate boys, does your old man talk about me at home? Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. What yeah. do you hear? I don't know, he just talks that he said he called you and I had to talk to you about stuff. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah, you guys want to make phony phone calls too for a living, huh? Oh, I did one time fun. to him, and he didn't know who it was, and almost called the phone company. Oh, Have really? you lost your kitten? Yeah, that was it. It was it was a soundboard thing. You ever hear your dad complain about me? No. Come on, tell the truth. No, he, he likes you. He, he likes does? you a lot. You ever, yeah. hear, you ever hear your dad complain about me, Antonio? Um, no. No? no you kids are smart. I'm not even going to go there with the hind girls. <laughs> so right. what's the question on the board? What's so? What's the most obnoxious right. thing about what's your dad? What's the most now? annoying thing about your dad, Antonio? Um, it's when he keeps on asking and I say no because mm -hmm. he, like, wants me to do it. Mm -hmm. But if I don't want to do it, he, like, sometimes keeps on asking me and it bothers me. So he nags you to do yes. things. Yes. Okay. All right, now the 25-point question. Right, then we'll get the dads that? in, and we'll see who wins the most This money. has been great. So All right, here we go. And here it is. I'm going to go over to the hind girls first. What's the last thing your dad yelled at you about? This is for 25 points. Oh, Oh, yeah, the last thing he yelled at me about was when we were in the car on the way here. He was like, Sweating, and I was the free, like the coldest thing in the world, and I wanted the heat on, and he didn't. So he yelled at me for keep saying to put on the heat on. So while you were on. cold, your father yelled at you for being cold. No, not for being cold, for bugging him to turn the heat on. Sounds he very. That does not sound right. <laughs> you know. He you left should, you in the cold. He left you cold. <laughs> All right, understood. Delabate, boys, what's the last thing your father yelled at you about? Uh, he yelled at us last night because he said we were going to bed too late, and he, like, because we had to get up really early this morning. He didn't so yell at us. At us. He let us, like, stay up and watch Survivor with him. But Lucas says you, he didn't yell about that. He did. That what did he yell? Lucas, what did he yell about? Well, actually, I've got something. Jackson, you've heard it before. Um, I don't like football. This is, like, one of the times, not the last time, but... Um, when I was trying to go, like, when I was going to football in the car, um, well, he, um, like, I'm like, oh, man, I don't want to go to football. I hate it. And then oh. my dad starts, like, um. Yelling at you for that? Yelling at me and cursing. <laughs> because you don't like football? There's nothing wrong with not liking football. He took it out on you, huh? Yeah, like, well, I always nag him, and it's like, I'm just like, does he make you I feel want to go. Does he make you feel funny for not liking football? Yeah, kind of. Oh, boy, I'm going to just have it out with him. That ain't right. Yeah, I don't he's like in football. here giving your listening. father a hard time. That's Look at him right. forcing his kid to go to football. Lucas, I would never but yell at him. My parents, uh, well, never want me to quit anything. Well, on my side, I'm like, quit, 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 quit. <laughs> Lucas, I would never yell at you about that. Ever. And you wouldn't force him. I would never force you to play football. 
perfect. Do you see how great things could be? <laughs> Only I was your father. Coach Locker better not be listening. If I were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but what you, you know, you gotta see, uh, try to match what your father would say. What was the very last thing he yelled at you about? Mm. Probably last night when he won, like when we were going to bed. All right, we'll okay, go with I agree that. With Jackson. All right, we'll go with that. Okay. All right. right. All right. All right, Antonio, you must have done something. What did your father yell at you about? Um, well, my brother had this bin balloon from my, my friend's birthday party, and um, I was, like, playing with it, but he wanted it, and um, my dad thought that it was a birthday party for him, and then he, like, um, yelled. Mm -hmm. Robin, what does that mean, exactly? I think you just say yelling about the balloon. Yelling about the balloon. <laughs> yeah, arguing over oh, whose right balloon it was. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, this isn't part of the game, but does, you, does uh, Lucas and Jackson, did your dad ever say he doesn't like anyone who works on the show? Uh, mm. Not really. Yeah. Not, not really. Around us at least. What about you, uh, Antonio? You hear Sal saying something, but he doesn't like anybody on the show? Um, no, I never. Uh, Pine uh, girls, you ever hear anything like that? No, um, not really. What's wrong with them? No. <laughs> and uh, and, and Delabate boys, you, did your father ever brag about how much money he makes on the show? you have any idea how much money he makes? No, no he never brags. He's, he he's not tacky. How much money do you think he makes? <laughs> what? What do you think your old man's good for a year? I don't know. Hmm, I don't. What do you think he makes? $100. $100 a year? Wow. Right. Is he overpaid? <laughs> well, no, not 100 No, uh -oh. I, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe 500 something like that. 500 bucks? Believe me. Yeah. You're about right. <laughs> he talks about a guy named Tightwad Carmazan. <laughs> All right, let's bring the dads in and see if yes, anybody matches I up. I want to see if they can match. All right, and don't forget the game is brought to you by b -Suticals, organic skin care gift sets, natural and organic personal care, b -Sutical Organics. Go to healthfromthehive.com. Now, Here remember comes to Sal. keep those cards turned down and on your lap. Yeah, keep them down. Kids, don't let your dad see those cards. All right. I'm disgusted with all three of you people. Yeah, we learned some things yeah. here. Yeah, all of you are gross. <laughs> Embarrassing? Nah. All right, let's go to John Hine first. We asked your daughters, what is your dad's favorite TV show? Can you match that for five points? Girls, don't help them. What is my favorite TV show? Let's see a match on the board. I would say that they said... John, your mic's falling. Um, Come on, John. Today, I'm, John. Today. Sorry, guys. <laughs> your kids are quicker than you are. <laughs> I would say they said lost. You are wrong. You lost. lost. Show, them, show your dad what you said. The office. Oh, the office. That's a good one. All right. <laughs> Not a match. Not a match. Day boys, uh, Stuff gave when us Daddy watches every show on air. <laughs> yeah, does your dad watch too much television? I mean, the guy's constantly watching television, isn't he? He watches yeah. a lot. Yeah. But so do I. So. All right. Let's go over to Gary Delabate. What did the boys say? Well, they see me watching a lot of American Idol, but we all I, I, we all watch Survivor together. Don't, so don't look no, at I'm that. I'm going to say Survivor. Survivor. Let's see. Mm. ER. Uh, yeah, that's, that's one of them. That is one of them. <laughs> Sal, what did your son Antonio say? Uh, well, I don't think he knows my favorite show. I watch shows with him. So I'm going to think he said uh, Drake and Josh because we watched that together recently a lot. Drake and Josh. That's what did not you right. say, Antonio? Antonio had a better answer. He said, tell him, Antonio. American Idol, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's because he got me to send Giants as fault. <laughs> That's how it's full. I'm not looking. All right, so nobody got that right. No points on the board. No matches so far. All right, let's go to, uh, we'll go Good back try. to John again. We asked the girls, what's your dad's grossest habit? What is your grossest habit? Oh, I know this one. Go ahead, what is it? Uh, definitely cleaning out the insides of their noses when they have something in them, like snot or something you like that. You hit it right on the head, girls. You know I it. I hate that. You pick your daughter's <laughs> nose and clean out their I boogers. Swear, I swear I want to do it right now, Emily. She's got one right down there. Does she have a booger? You want to take it out? Right go there. ahead, go get it out. Oh, oh my God. goodness. We're Sal. Oh, get out of here. Why do you do that, by the way? It just drives me nuts, and they don't do it, and I just... I, I can't stand their noses not being clean, I All guess. Right. And I know it's gross. All Thank right. you. Thank you. Hygiene, girls. See, I just, Hygiene. Did, I just did the same thing to Lucas, but I shut the doors. Seriously, I shut the doors and did it so no one could see because he would be embarrassed, right? 
If I did that in front of people? Your dad picks up boogers. I hate too. you. <laughs> <laughs> already coaching you? <laughs> I hate you. We all when do, he does that. What is your uh, dad's grossest habit? We said it to the boys. What'd they say, Gary? I have to go with uh, fart humor is funny in our house for a reason. Farting. You hit it right You're on the head. Right. That's it, farting. Farting upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, uh, Lucas says he almost threw up. <laughs> Sal, what did your son Antonio I'm say? I'm going to go with Gary. I, I have to believe it's farting. Well, you all got it right. That's right, farting. Lift it up, buddy. That's you know it. when you're obnoxious. All right. <laughs> When All Gary right. farts downstairs, is it not so gross? The scores are tied 5-5-5. Five, five, and five. We see the Hine families, the Delabate family, and the Governale family playing for what uh, what we call Bring Your Kid to Work Day, yeah. which is where we have to lock the kids up and not let them hear a thing on that's going <laughs> that's on right, in the show. That's right. Not sure what we really do. All right. Here we go. Uh, for 10 points, I'll start with John again. What the hell? What's the last thing your parents fought about for 10 points, John? The last thing we fought about. Um... John Hine, the host of the wrap-up show. Got to think about this one. What, what will the daughters say? What did mom and I fight about? Uh... I'm, dr- I'm drawing a blank because we fight so rarely. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the last thing we fought about was... Um, yeah, time is running out, I'll, Johnny. I'll, I'll come up with something. Um, Three. You don't have all day. Two. What? Uh, what? What time the? Uh, what time the girls had to go to bed? All right. The girls said the last thing you fought about was not that. Saving a table. When you had a, they were waiting for you and they uh, were calling you, you on your cell phone. You were at Nathan's and you Nathan's. wouldn't answer your cell phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that one. All right. What is the last thing your parents fought about, Gary? What did the kids say? You, well, hmm. That's a good one. Um, it's probably me not doing something. <laughs> I know that. I know that's for, for sure. So now I got to think. Now if which it, something was right, it? Which something, it's either me not throwing out the garbage or me not doing enough. I'm going to say like me not walking the dog or me not paying enough attention to the dog. Well, you know, that's, that's pretty close. close. That's close. It's or you not giving the dog a bath. No. So it's, 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 it's you not uh, picking, picking up, up the dog right. duty. The dog. It's, all, it's all dog stuff I get yelled nah, at for. I, I, what do you think? Do we give them I think that? you gotta give him. I, I give him that. Yeah. yeah. Dog Is this attention. vinaigrette? <laughs> <laughs> ah. All right, I'm going to give him the 10 Thank points. You. All right, you got it. All right, all right. That's pretty close. Uh, <laughs> now, Sal. Sal, this should be easy for you. Well, the Sal. question is, when's the last no. time we didn't fight <laughs> in front of the kids? Um, Antonio, actually, do, you, do your mom and dad fight a lot? Um, not that much. Not that much. Good. Okay. Not Definitely not in front of the kids. Right. Um, do the kids right. live in another house? <laughs> <laughs> Every time we see them, they're fighting. <laughs> That's how we pay the bills. Uh, I can't. I can't imagine what he would witness. <laughs> I can't imagine what he doesn't witness. <laughs> I would have to say the last time we fought probably was over. Um... Come on, Sal. Not buying a condo. Okay. Uh... Not what you make here. Was it me farting at the table? All right. Was it last I would say thing? farting or burping at the table. No, Antonio said it was something else. He said uh, going on vacation to Disney World, you, uh, Christina didn't want to go. And, and you, all of you guys wanted to go. Yeah. That's, that's exactly right. Yeah. All right. We got two questions left. The next one is worth 10 points. <laughs> How, can we play my wife for Antonio? <laughs> oh, oh, no. I don't think he's ready for that yet. He wrote it already. Give him a CD. Take all it. right, Gary, I'm going to get you on off the hook. Okay. I'm going to let you go first this time. What's the most annoying thing about your dad? Real quick. What do the kids think? He's so annoying about you. Wow. Mm. They love me. <laughs> I'm serious. What's the most annoying thing about... Lucas just said he hated you. Think about it. <laughs> think about it. Think what? hard. Wow. Lucas says think hard. Wow. Very, very, very hard. Very um, good, Lucas. I make them do something like I make them go to bed early. Let's say that. I make All them go right. to bed early. Well, you didn't get it That's right. <clears throat> we make I, Lucas wear a heavy jacket. When it's cold outside, right. it's, you bundle them up like the Michelin Man. No, not sure. I just he wants to wear his little spring jacket. All right, I'm. Too Sal, good what's the most annoying thing? I would think uh, I'm on the computer too much. Let's see what Antonio uh, said. Uh, 
And I was going to say your beard and mustache, but let's see what he said. He said nags him to do things. You keep saying yeah. every Jesus. time he says no, you ask the question again. Hind girls are ready with an answer, but John, give us match us, and then we really move move ahead in this game. There, there's one, it's one of two things. I, I'm not going to say the voting on American Idol thing, but I'm going to go with uh, taking the knots out of their hair. Taking the All knots right. out of their hair is really annoying. It would be. You, you should have gone with American Idol. Oh. American Idol voting. Yeah. <laughs> you were so close. I had it. All right, 25-point question. Right now, the Delabates are in the lead with 15 points. The Governales and the Hines are in with five points. They're in second place, tied for second place. This is 25 points. Whoever gets this one, Wins the it's game. Got, they're going to win. Come on, babe. All right, here we go. Sal, you're going first. Okay. All right. What is the last thing your dad yelled at you about? You know what? That was very recent. My son always goes in my drawer and takes the video iPod you bought me for Christmas, and he did it again recently and almost lost it. The last thing he yelled about was the, hopefully, the iPod you took out of my drawer again. Antonio didn't say that. He said yelling about the balloons. And the party? It was your not your birthday party or something? Oh, uh, I think I was sucking the helium out, out of all the kids' balloons. <laughs> yeah, man. Now you see? All right. I stink, son. I'm sorry. All right, John, this is a chance to go into first place with your daughters. What is the last thing your dad yelled at you about? I rarely yell at my daughters, but I think it's got to be uh, when they were screaming too loud in the car. And I yelled at them because they were too loud in the car. All right, I'm going to give you that because the girls said you were in the car and... And you were, they were complaining that it was too cold, and you just got annoyed, and you started yelling at them in the car. All right, good job, guys. All right, that right. puts you in Going the lead with 30 points. Place. All right, Delabates, this could be your game because you were in the lead, and if you get 25 points, that will put you way ahead of everyone else. What is the last thing your dad yelled at it's you It's a about? tough one because there's two different kids, and you well, yell at them for different things. Yeah, well, don't tell me your problems. Um, <laughs> that's another shelf. It was probably... Just for okay, I'm gonna get again go with not getting into bed on time, not going to bed on time. Well, it really wasn't that, was it? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, when you went to bed, you did it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I forgot. That's right, 40 All right, points. Delibates. All right, Delabates are in first place, yeah. Heinz second place, and the governor is in five. Now, what uh, does that get them, Howard? Well, I have $500 cash from B Suticles. Uh, to split up between uh, all three teams. Because the Delabate boys came in first, I think a good prize. And uh, by the way, Gary, you can't take this money from them. They can spend it on whatever they want. Absolutely. All right. What is the prize for the Delabate boys because they won? What if we give them, what do you think is an appropriate prize? We've got to split up five hundred. Five hundred dollars, and we have uh, five uh, kids. What do you think two hundred? I think two hundred for the Delabates because they are the winners. Two hundred dollars, you just won. Yeah. <laughs> Considering Lucas thinks you make a hundred dollars all year. Is that what he said? Yes. That, uh, well, that's said a lot. maybe five. Maybe five hundred. <laughs> I spent five hundred on you last week. <laughs> Hind girls. You were in uh, second, second place. place. Just missed, guys. Just missed. And uh, I'm going to award you. I say seventy-five dollars a no. piece. No. Uh, so, well, yeah, hundred fifty. Right. Hundred fifty dollars. Yes. <laughs> but that doesn't make any sense. Well, that ah, sense. come on, Antonio. Place, could, and uh, Antonio. How much does that leave for Antonio? 150, doesn't it? Yeah. No, no 200. It? Oh, yeah, 200. that's 300 to split up. Uh, oh, two, so. 350. Yeah. So I'll give him 100. And Antonio, you've won. $150. Oh. <laughs> Wait, we got to make <laughs> it know, clear yeah, that yeah, Antonio yeah. was last. You have right. more money, you know. That's all right. Just give him 150 that's But you girls, you don't want Well, he has to split it with his brothers at home. That's you true. you got to split it with yeah. your brothers at home. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, we'll take it. It's like 16 me. of them, I think. <laughs> uh, let me tell you He's something. He's the youngest anyway. We He's the youngest, yeah. yeah. So you guys have won a lot of money. What are you going to do with the money, Antonio? Um, Probably um, save it up with my other money and try to get a drum set. If When I get more money, if I have enough money to get a drum set. All right, that's a good nice. idea. Uh, nice. Delabates, what do you guys say? You're gonna do with that 200 by car. Well, me and Jackson have to split it, so I get 100 and he gets 100. Right. So. They were playing a video game this morning that one of the interns lent them. That they what was that thing? Oh, I'm gonna buy a yes. PSP. A PSP? PlayStation Play. You know, All right, portable. very good. Okay, that sounds like fun. And uh, girls. Any ideas what to do with that 150 cash? We get to go shopping. Say thank you for it. You're welcome. That's very oh, nice. Oh, you oh, you should have wow. said thank you. God damn it. Kind girls, well, very they polite. Won. They did win. We know it's a good Thanks. parent. 
We know who the best parent is here. <laughs> and I'm either going to probably get probably a PSP also right. or... Good news, it's the Whiskey Talking available on PSP. <laughs> Artie Lang's DVD available. It's the wa- See Whiskey that talking. in high def. <laughs> that TV's going to my room, you promised. Sure. You promised. I, pro- uh, I promised what? That I can spend it on anything I want. Yeah. Yeah. You can buy a TV, but it's not going in your room. Yep. No TVs in the room. Why? She, you said she, it could be for anything she wants. I said she can get the TV, but I didn't say where she can put it. Whoa. Why can't she put it in her room? Because no TV in the room. They got they have computers in the room, and that's fine, but no TV. Believe me, we got plenty of TVs in the house. It ruined Daddy's life. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to me? <laughs> Emily, what do you think of that? You're very mean. Yes, he is very mean. Emily, your childhood has just jumped the shark. (laughs) I'm a mean dad. I'm sorry, Em. Uh, What are you going to do? I can't believe they have computers in their room. Yeah, I'm surprised about that, too. They're hooked up to the Internet? Yeah, they both have computers in their room, which, of course, uh, I'm fully aware of what's going on in those computers (laughs) as we've talked about I had to talk with the kids. The kids know that they're being watched. Well, kids, oh, oh, they do know. Yeah, I told them. I made your dad do that, by the way, Delabate boys. Okay. He was I, trying to keep it a secret. He was trying to keep it a secret that you were being watched. <laughs> I told. What do you think of that? Oh, and you okay. kids have time after the show to teach me how to email? <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll be over your house, Delabate boys. And if you remember the last time I came there, I was a big hit. I showed you boys magic tricks. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Am I the greatest or what? Yes. Yeah, definitely. you're good. Yep, you're damn right yeah, I'm can good. Can I have my football card back now that you made it disappear? Can you make it reappear now? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that, that part of the trick. <laughs> I don't know anything about making things reappear. <laughs> well, you were nice kids. I like all of you. I yeah. figured maybe out of the lot of you, there would be some I didn't like, but I do like all of you. Very impressed. They're good kids. You're good kids. And let me tell you something. You present yourselves well. I want to see how much you remembered. What did I make you all repeat when your dad's left the room? Let me hear it now. One, two, three. Cash is king. Cash is king. Very good. Now we're going to try another one. We all hate Jay Leno. Oh, stop that. Yeah. Yeah. No, everybody, we one, two, three. No. We all hate Jay Leno. Very good. Very nice. Daddy 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 I like it. You're giving me goosebumps, I swear. Did say, who's Jay Leno? I love that child. <laughs> <laughs> right. Who Unfort- exactly is Jay Leno? That's your favorite book, Lucas. Oh, yeah. If roast beef, beef could fly. fly. All right, try like this that? one. He you like that, that Jay Leno book? All right, try this one out. At the count of three, Scott the Pace is bald. <laughs> Scott the Pace is bald. <laughs> one, two, three. Scott the Pace is bald. Oh, you Why are you doing that with Scott the Pace when Scott Salem is in the room? That's right. <laughs> Ready, Scott Emma? Salem is bald. Scott Salem is bald. <laughs> Delabate kids only on this one. Ready, Delabate kids? Met, the Mets are gay. Oh, <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, the Mets are gay. gay. Ah, what are you doing? <laughs> I got that on tape, brother, forever. I would say that. Artie, you love the Mets. You're gay. Oh, oh Artie is. Right. How about so Artie maybe I can lose, be on the Mets. Artie lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You know, Fred, you got Lucas saying the Mets are gay. We're going to hit that every day. You guys love the Mets, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're a big Mets fan and Jets fan. Yes. Jackson's yeah. got the Mets room with the Mets border and a big Carlos Beltran, and Lucas has the Jets room with Chad Pennington. Yeah. Welcome right. to a yeah. life of disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I'm uh, that starts. All right. You're about to start swinging, huh? No, it's swearing. Oh, swearing. What do you got? Did your father teach? Don't we have on tape that Artie is gay? (laughs) Does your father teach you to root for the Washington Generals over the Globetrotters as well? (laughs) Listen, kids, I love you. You all did great. It's very, very difficult to come on the radio and talk in an extemporaneous manner. And I'm very, very, very impressed. Oh, I think your father is working, Antonio. What's he doing? Antonio, what's your father want you to say? Robin, let me see you, boobs. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What is that? Yeah, what's the matter with you, Sal? He's so, a boy. He's a boy. He's five years old. There's for girls in the room, though. He's so uh, well, silly. Enough, yeah, Sal. I'm not doing so that one. more. Oh, Shut up, Jew. <laughs> Shut up, Jew. Oh, what are you teaching the kid? What's the matter with you, Sal? <laughs> Sal, shame on you. Antonio, grab the pen. From, oh, you did. did. Good, the kid right. knew to say I'm not doing that one. <laughs> did, does Christine know you took the kid to work today, Sal? I kidnap your kid to work. 
Shut up, Jew. <laughs> That's terrible. All right, listen, kids. We're going to uh, read Mein Kampf when we get home. Oh, God. God. What's the what matter with you? It is. You're a lot riot today, I got to tell you. Daddy's not going to make it in show business. I got no fear, Antonio. <laughs> All right. No Listen, kidding. kids, you did a great job. Take your money. Do what you want. You want that TV in your room? You go ahead. Or else we'll fire your father, okay? <laughs> right. And you boys know you're never to watch Brokeback Mountain, right? Uh, right. Uh, right. All right. We'll None be of that. Ah, uh, stop it. They didn't even Let's... know to go looking for it until you said that, Artie. None of that fruity stuff. We'll be back right after these words. Thank you to all the participants of Daddy or Dummy. Team Delavate. Yeah! Champions! Yeah. Champions! Yes. You guys seem to know a lot about your dad. A lot of the. Uh... Yeah, I didn't understand the ER one because I haven't. Wa- I actually haven't watched the ER oh, one. Oh, you always. But I love. There's a lot of shows that. Oh, I love. every go on TV, you're always. always yeah, that's because I haven't watched them. That's why they're still there. But uh, it was great, guys. It was yeah, awesome. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. Uh, Dad, your family hug. Oh. You're a good way. To... So what? Really, what are you gonna spend the money on for real now? I'm going for a PSP, like I said on the radio. Yeah, that's, you're you're a little short, but we'll see what we can do about that. No, I get um, a yeah. short on money. No, I know. Right, right, right. So guys, I'm gonna stay up for a video. Ah, okay, excellent. All right, Del, Del Bate, brothers, what was your favorite part about being on the show today? Uh, I think it was just fun. All of it. Yeah. I personally have to go back and hear what they said while I was in the room. I don't know what I missed. Uh oh. You kids might get grounded now. <laughs> nah, it's, it's all good. All right. Thanks for coming down, guys. Good job. Thank you. Good work, Team Del Bate. Team Governale. Very Thanks close. Us. Very close. But. Yeah, Antonio did great. I'm very proud of him. Sal, it seemed like Antonio remembered everything, but you kind of forgot some stuff. He was on the money. I forgot all about the vacation thing and the and the balloons. I forgot all about that. So, yep, he was. Uh, you were right on, buddy. You did great. Antonio, what was it like being live on the air? Was that fun? It was kind of fun. Are you gonna tell all of your your friends at school what you did today? Well, actually, I told them before I went on the radio when I um, first, when my first dad told me, when my dad told me. <laughs> well, thanks for coming down. You did great today. Thank you. Team Hein, very close, very close. You know what? We just missed. I can't believe I missed the office. A TV question led to our oh, defeat, but my girls did great. I'm very yeah, proud of them. You your girls did do very good in there. What was what was your favorite part about coming down to the show today? <laughs> Right. Um, I like seeing what my dad was doing and being on the radio. That was, that was kind of cool. It was cool seeing like the behind the scenes and how everything yeah. works. Yeah. And you made $150 each out of the deal. Yeah. Not bad. Not, well, mm-hmm. not a bad day. Yeah. Not, not at all. Day. And you got to miss school, so that's a double yeah, bonus. Yeah, that's, that's like the best part of all <laughs> Sorry about the TV thing. Um, I know you're bummed, but... Uh, It's Take Your Child to Work Day, and Gary's kids knew more than my kids and Sal's son about their respective dads and won the Daddy or Dummy contest. Gary was really psyched that they won. (laughs) Well, he puts in a lot of time with those kids. They better know him. Right. Well, we'll talk about how he needs them. (laughs) Or used to. I started to bring that up, and then I said, no, I'm not going to do it. Well, we'll talk about how the game went and see how the kids are holding up after spending a day at work. With Why are their you fathers. throwing hangers at the kids? <laughs> In your diabetic rage. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. We heard about, about that. I didn't. I didn't hear that part. They, they they were trying to decide what is most annoying about you, and they said your diabetes because when your sh- blood sugar gets low, you start throwing hangers. You get a little <laughs> crazy, is what they said. I, I did throw a hanger. That's true. When your blood sugar gets low, you just start. I used to see my father go through out. that. Man, it's scary. Yeah. Oof! They start. You start foaming and everything. Yeah. Well, eat a smoothie. <laughs> you get really angry for no apparent reason, right. and uh, it gets you crazy. Gets a little ugly in the hind house. We got to bust <laughs> Gary's chops too about calling Lucas, uh, uh, yelling at him for not liking football. <laughs> Yo, what was that? What's that all about? He said he didn't, he didn't like football. Well, Lucas, Lucas doesn't like he football. He didn't want to. He wouldn't want to play football. Lucas for, Lucas is forced to play football. Hey Gary, come and in go here. To games. Yeah, really, that's kind of fucked hold up, on. dude. I got to take that up. And hold you. on, they're listening. So guys, right, turn down the radio in my office. Bring him in here and let's discuss it. Okay. A uh, family counseling session. Front and center. <laughs> yeah, because, sorry, I used I the mean, F word. I didn't know the kids. That's you, okay. I it's thought okay. you told me the kids weren't listening. It's, it's fine. I mean, we've been moving them around. But you know what? Dude, drop oh, that. It's, so an, it's an unfair assessment to say that we forced it, but uh, but it also bums me out that that's his interpretation of it. You know what I mean? Here, Lucas, guys, come in here. I'm going to try and get you out of, get you off the hook. <laughs> oh, it's so no, you're not in Lucas, you're not in trouble. Meanwhile, no, you're not in trouble at all. What, Lucas? He's on trial. <laughs> He's on yeah. trial. <laughs> hey, Jackson. Uh, Jackson, don't you think it's wrong that your father forces Lucas to play football? He doesn't like it. I guess, but 
he said he would play the whole season. And he, so he was wrong. I never said that. Well, you know what? It's no, a, I didn't. When you're a parent, it's a fine line. Hold it a second, it's a Gary. Fine Let line. Lucas have a okay. word. Hey, it's kind of hard to play football, Dad, and... Like it's really hard. You get hit hard. I'm a mi- like I used, to, like I was in a middle linebacker in scrimmages, and I get hurt. But and th- I don't like it. And I never promised that. And Jackson's just a big fat liar. So you don't want to play football anymore? <laughs> yeah, I might be the water boy. But you told me last Saturday when we were at a Baskin Robbins that you wanted to play football. Do you remember? Okay, I quit that. Like, I'll execute that from my plan. Did you say that because you <laughs> want to make your dad happy? That's why you said I like football, Dad. What? When did I say that? I'm, done, I'm saying like... Oh, when, yeah, yeah, and make him happy. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Why don't you let him off the hook? No, man? he is off the hook. He doesn't have to play this year. I mean, I'm, I've been sort of trying to figure out whether he wants to play because he keeps going... What's like, the figure? I hear the kid loud and clear. And then, like, in two days, he'll say, you know, I was talking to the guys at school, and I think I want to play because I'll be one of the bigger kids. So it's just... It's confusing... Yeah, it is confusing to me, too. Like, last year, he like it got through, like, two-thirds of the season. He's like, wasn't having a fun time, and then some days he was having a fun time. And I'm sort of like, hey, you made a commitment. It's a fine line. What activities? Letting, hold on. When Let I hurt ca- my arm, when I was running laps, like, like when I ran 14 laps, that was fun. It's because you were fooling around. But, but it's a fine line between just letting your kid quit something the first time he says it and fi- you, you have to figure out when to let him quit. You know what I mean? You gotta, do you, does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, but they also have to learn the consequences of their making a decision. Right, eh. right. So we let him finish the season last year, and it's totally up to him whether he wants to play or not this year. I just can't seem to get You guys the... wouldn't let me quit. See, I that's to quit. The... See, now we wouldn't let him quit, and then he was telling me the other night, Mommy's making me quit because Mary's against him playing football again. Right. She said he didn't like it. And he goes, you know, Dad, Mom's making me quit, but I think I want to well, play. I'll tell you what, Lucas. If you were my son, you wouldn't have to get injured just to please me. Right. Oh, no. here we go. <laughs> Lucas, do you want to play football or not? Have you really mm. made up your mind? Do you like it? Uh, let me think. One second. No. It's going to hold the football right here and dance. Like go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> All right, wait up a sec because we're, we're getting the wireless. <laughs> wait a minute. Okay, I'll tell you when to dance. I'll tell you when. Keep the football right there. Ready? I'll tell you when. Tell me when, guys. Go. Go, start dancing. Put the football lower, lower, lower. Oh, here we go. Lucas, do you want to play football or not? Look at the camera, Antonio. Stop Here we go. looking. I can't see a thing. Hey, he's made up his mind, I guess. It's tough with kids with sports, though, because from day to day, they might like it. You know what would, I mean? They might what like would it you one rather day and do? Hate it yeah, but then day. they need to know. You know, when you make a decision like that, you can't go back and forth. Right. Would you rather really gamble on it. football like it, Uncle Artie? How about that? Or That's fun. Another? Do you like to bet on football? That's That's fun. Fun. <laughs> is there another sport he likes better? Wait, it, you mean you bet money on football? Yes. And, and he loses. Crazy. He loses all the time. Lucas. And if you stay in the league long enough and get me some inside information, oh, come on. we can get some money. Like if you if the if your football team loses though, then you're in trouble. If you bet like a thousand dollars or something, you're like if you lose, you just lost a thousand dollars. Lucas, Lucas, Boy, ask this Uncle, kid makes too much sense. Ask Uncle Artie what's the <laughs> most money he left and he lost in one day betting on something. Okay, what's the most money you've ever lost on um, one day? In one betting day, something? including every type of gambling. Yeah. Thirty-eight thousand ah, dollars. Thirty-eight thousand dollars. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> That's real. That's what I felt That's like. That's why he's a Yankee fan. Oh. <laughs> you should become a bookie then, because they're the ones who make the money, Lucas. You, know you should that, become that, a bookie. The, 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 you Lucas, know the, what would you rather do instead of playing football? Is there something you'd rather would, do? Would you, maybe. Would, well, if I even played football, I'd probably play. Um, maybe, maybe if I wanted to, I might. Just might play um, flag football, or I might continue skateboarding because I just started yesterday. And then I might go back to drum lessons or something right. like that. Flag okay. football has a yeah. flag football has an extra L in it. It doesn't oh, need. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe you okay. want to be a ballerina. Oh, Enough of that. Easy there, do, you, Uncle Artie. do you understand how it's not a cl- it's not as cut and dry? It's it's sort of a hard decision. No, it's it's very cut and dry to me. Lucas doesn't want to play. I football. I think by now it's clear he doesn't want to do it. Yeah, right. and if he yeah. winds yeah. up yeah. thinking that this was a bad decision for yeah. him this year, he can play next year. Right. Yeah, you could always play in the future if you want to. Yeah, maybe Jingle. when I like, maybe when I get a little better at it. Let me tell you something. I was no good at Older. any of that stuff. I was very artistic. <laughs> what? Same with my dad, probably. What's that? 
I think it was the same with you, right? What's that? Was it the same with you about you being bad at football or like the football coach is being me, mean? He was not he was not that good at football. I was okay. It was a different time. I th- I don't think he likes getting yelled at by the coaches either. Yeah, right. and getting hurt. Yeah, it's a screw out. that. I wouldn't do it either. The only thing I wanted to quit as a kid that my mother would not let me quit was uh, smoking. <laughs> we just stay out of the conversation. No, but I, <laughs> you kids know. What about baseball? Do you like baseball? Yeah, I love it. Well, there you go. Well, that's Play enough. Baseball. Yeah, who needs football? Do you get, believe you get your brains bashed in? Uh, play, I hope your Jackson's uh, careful, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're careful. I love football. Jackson, sure what are you, Jim? a defensive end, linebacker? What do you do over there? No, I'm a center. Oh, really? There you go. Well, Offensive make sure, line. Make sure you're careful over there. Yeah. Well, make sure you bash the other guy's brains in right. instead of your own. Oh, yeah. I you do. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Very but, physical. Uh, like, yeah. we just played hockey last year, too. Yeah, played, that was fun because there are no practices. Sport. Oh, really? You like the no practice mm. thing? All right. Field fine. hockey? Okay. I good, uh, <laughs> hey, just thank me when you when you get out of playing football because I got you out of it. Your father wasn't listening. I took care of everything. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Howard. No problem. Whenever you have a problem, you come to me now. Yeah, I'll give you my number. Yeah, doesn't listen, maybe what call else don't you like? Howard. Yeah, if you listen to me, I'll, I'll, I'll set him straight. Don't you worry about it. I heard you loud yeah, and clear, okay. son. All Do right. you guys know your father's nickname? Baba Booey. I think you like, there's a cartoon named Baba Louie, and then he pronounced it wrong. Right. And then that, like, haunted him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, that it is true. That's very true. It has. I see a bobblehead of um, Bob. Baba Louie in his um like in his office. He like, loves yeah. Baba Louie. Right next to um right next to like um an Oreo's Barbie doll. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole weird thing. What your office? Yeah, no, the, I, somebody, the Oreo's Barbie doll. Somebody gave me uh, uh, there's an, somebody made an Oreo Barbie doll. Mm-hmm. Bar- Barbie got into an agreement with Nabisco and they made this Oreo Barbie doll. So it's a black Barbie doll. It's Oreo Barbie. Uh huh. And you know they pulled it off the market after two and a half days. Yeah, they figured that mm-hmm. wasn't a good thing. I Means not good oh. to call a black person an Oreo. <laughs> Oreo Barbie. <laughs> it's right. Howard, it's a funniest thing. So I have it up my office. Yeah, right. you should show it to him. <laughs> All right, boys. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. And Lucas, no more football. You're done with it. Yeah, okay, right, thanks. Right. Thanks. Thanks, boys. There goes the boys. Anything else you need straightened out before you leave? Yeah, if you need any other, get any other problems, tell me now. I'll straighten them out. Okay. What else do you hate? Any other problems? Anything else, Lucas? Uh, Well, no, I don't have any more. Uh, well, I do have. No, I don't have any more problems. Allowance <laughs> okay? Everything? How much allowance do you get? I don't know, maybe. Well, I haven't done it in a really long time, so uh, I kind of forgot. Want to double gotta, your gotta... allowance? <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Well, actually, yeah, that's a good plan. Think I, of me as I you, actually you, work on. You know I'm what actually Im- working on that. You know what a magic genie is? You rub the lamp and the genie grants you wishes? Yeah. When you have a problem, you come to me, I straighten it right out. That's all. See, and you're the genie that comes out. Out of the bottle, I'm a genie. That's right. At least with your dad, he is. I'm a big, (laughs) ugly genie. All right, thank you. He can make things happen there. Yeah, not with everybody. (laughs) With him, I got influence. (laughs) All right, kids, thanks. Good seeing you. Bye. 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 All right, thanks. All right. No problem. I'll play with you at your house on this weekend. An eight-year-old just told me a gambling stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I left him back with Richard and Sal for like an hour. Oh, I was running around no. doing stuff. And I good, said, you know, good move. It's almost like leaving the kids with a guy babysitter. Yeah, you don't yeah. know why. Why would you do that? I kept looking, and they wanted to learn about making phony phone calls, so they made a couple of phony phone calls with the with the guy. Before I'd leave my kids with Sal and Richard, I I'd, li- I'd leave them with a John midget clown rapist. Michael Jackson, I'd leave them with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lucas. Yeah? Uncle Artie gave you some weird advice, didn't he? Yeah. What's that guy's problem, that uncle of yours? Well, actually, I don't want him to be my uncle. He's a little freaky. He's um, kind of a freaky person, and, like, uh, he just, like, he said, all he said was really he bet, like, $38,000 on uh, football, and he lost, and he lost thirty eight thousand dollars and it's kind of stupid really? and then hey, um, they call yes. Howard like the like the good like um Howard he calls himself like the nice genie or something and he tries to solve all my problems and it's kind of weird he's Get- like he thinks he's like the genie yeah. who pops out of a bottle <laughs> Gary, it seemed like Howard didn't really understand that you were trying to point out that you, trying to teach Lucas about making a commitment. Well, we're, we're working on it. I mean, I want to, you know, I'm not, if he wants to play football this year, he can. If he doesn't, he doesn't have to. I just want to get a clear-cut idea on what he wants to do and make sure, because what, what I was trying to explain to Howard is when it comes time to play, if all his friends are playing and he changes his mind, it's going to be too late. 
So right. that's what we're trying to figure out. But we'll, we'll figure it out, right, Luke? I'm not doing it. I'm okay, just then you, be the water boy. That's fine. Of. You don't have to do it. You, do, you definitely don't have to do it. Somebody wants an autograph, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do, do you know what this is? Let me look under it. <laughs> okay, it's not torn now. Okay, try it. It's like, what is that thing? <laughs>